Pastor Deacon here. Thank you for joining me. The title of this lesson is Physician, as in Doctor. Scripture reading is going to be Luke 5, 30 and 31. By the way, Luke, who wrote the book of Luke in the Bible, of course, was himself a physician. Luke 5, 30 and 31. And their scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciple, Jesus' disciple, saying, why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Very good. And Christ always gave just the correct answer. Now, we're going to read from the Dallas Morning News, Wednesday, May 23rd. The title of this article is, Area Has Doctor Shortage. North Texas likes enough primary care physicians and medical specialists to meet the demand of a growing population suffering from chronic diseases, according to a new analysis of local health care needs. Through report by the Dallas-Fort Worth Hospital Council represent the most comprehensive assessment of the region's medical services in several years. Its conclusions were presented Tuesday to top officials at Parkin Memorial Hospital. As far back as I can remember, we have always needed, they called them primary care, we used to call them general practitioners, primary care doctors. I have never heard anyone offer a real solution as how we can come up with the large number of primary care physicians that we need today and are going to need many, many more of them in the future. I'm going to offer a solution. Primarily, my plan would work best in small communities that are scattered all the way across Texas. Every graduating high school class, had many brilliant students, some of them grade point average, just a point or two below getting a scholarship. They don't have the money to go to medical school, so we're losing out on their brilliance. These are the people that I'm going to target. I would make a contract with these people, send them through medical school, both medical doctors and dentists, and in return they would serve uh, X number of years back in their hometown as doctors and dentists. And they would also serve a combination, they would be school teachers too. They would teach in the schools say in the afternoon and then see what patients they could in the morning or whatever. What school would like to have a a, a medical doctor uh, with a training in sports medicine as part of its athletic program. These doctors could give the right treatment to an injury when it happens and in many cases would uh, prevent a lifelong suffering from the problem. Since these small towns have need of an MD and dentist, I would set up a program where the doctors would see patients in the morning and, like I said, and see, uh, teach school in the afternoon. Now, in schools, they could check out the students, they could spot uh, problems coming up and diseases being spread, and I believe reduce the communicable diseases quite a bit, I really do. And also, too, we would have to build these these doctors' offices. I would build them on the school grounds where they'd be easily accessed uh, by the public. And I would put them on school property for two reasons. First, they would be only a few feet from the school if emergency should arise. Second, these buildings would be expensive. They'd be a one-time cost, and they would become school property, not the property of the doctors. Yes, there will be some maintenance costs and some upgrading costs over the years, but that won't be that much. As our society is getting older, 
we have a need for local doctors in small towns. Just maybe these doctors could make house calls again and give that one a thought. I believe that every dollar spent on a program such as this would save at least $10 uh, further down the road. If anyone watching this program has access to Governor Perry or knows anyone that does, get this idea to him. I believe that Governor Perry has a concern for the health of the people of Texas. I really do. He seems to be a really good man. Praise the Lord. May God continue to bless America. May God continue to bless the Republic of Texas. And may God continue to bless you and your